five days. Just five days. Apologies for the late hour, my lord. I apologize for the early hour, your grace. You went from being another man in Jairus court. The hand, your grace. The hand, your grace. To the second most powerful man in the realm. I consider the matter urgent. Your grace, I've called the small council to an emergency session. Such matters must be discussed with a small council. As your hand, I must maintain trusted sources of information. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat. He doesn't protect you. I would. So, Otto, what is your advice, dear Otto? You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you. Should he not? A seat at the king's table does not make you his equal. A loyal hand must tell his king a discomforting truth from time to time, your grace. None can know who you are or what you seek. Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. The door remains shut until we finish our business. Of course, Princess. My apologies, Your Grace. Let us speak no more of it. Otto Hightower has served two kings loyally and faithfully. Otto Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. You are the man that taught me how to be king. You're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. My own father does not know the language of girls either. You are the king. When I wish to talk with him. She'll do as you command. I know that I must make the effort. But I do not envy you. I've never been one for signs and portents, your grace. You told me you wish for Egon to be king. But if the gods did wish to show their favor. As your eyes, your grace. When you bore the king a son, you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt. You are the king's firstborn son. Yes, he does. Aegon, like his namesake, was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. He's the future of the realm. You think yourself a cunning man? I wonder. Your designs are obvious. How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy mine own? Have you never imagined yourself? And what will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? What vulture? On the Iron Throne. Your hand. Our second son who stands to inherit nothing he doesn't seize for himself. Did you say it? He wants Aegon to be named heir. The gods give just as the gods take away. The, the heir for the, the dead. dead. The truth does not matter. Did you say it? You are a Targaryen. And she. Only perception. Is what matters. Is a whore. And he will stop at nothing to see it done. The crown and the realm. Both owe you a debt. Can never be repaid. I will sit the throne today. But I can no longer trust your judgment. Leave me. Your grace. Your grace. As you wish. It is now that I must. Listen to me, daughter. Were you the absence of my own father? Your father was a good man. He wouldn't hesitate to speak the truth to the king if Otto Hightower was still at hand. As is yours, who took his place? You must guide Viserys towards reason. The king will die. You are no more hands than ever this king. Our beloved king! Fucking traitor! He'll never find it on his own. Viserys the peaceful! Our sovereign. Those vipers rule in my father's name. <laughs> Our friend. And now he's dead. He's dead! The king is dead. But it is also the most joyous of days. The realm has enjoyed a long peace. The greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. But the threat of war looms. And for your children, you plan to kill them. No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the men. The king wouldn't wish for any of the The king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. Time is coming, Alicent. Tomorrow the high towers land their first blow. The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. It is of no consequence. Aegon will be king. Aegon will be king. Either you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband? Or you, his daughter's childhood companion? Queen Alicent has not forgotten the love you once had for each other. Do you remember? We grieve for Viserys the Peaceful. I, Lord Hobart Hightower. <laughs> but he has left us a gift. Promised to be faithful to King Viserys. With his last breath, he impressed upon the Queen his final wish that his son, Aegon, and his named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs>